gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume this shouldn't be more than you can handle. Hmm? What's stopping you? Not still traumatized from your last encounter, are you? You mean me? Perhaps it's because 
I'm the Electro Archon's familiar. What? Like Devalin is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. In your dreams. More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know... A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo, or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal familiar is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko. You sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Time for anti-Raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? If you get hit by the Muso no Hitotachi, that's it. It's game over. I would get training if I were you. What a nuisance! Quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle, but when they face the Raiden Shogun herself... 
considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue. They're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish, too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. Oh, goodness, is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. We can talk more back at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All of a sudden, you're entertaining guests? <sighs> Paimon's really struggling to understand how you work. Okay, we can talk here. You ask me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet, with a single-minded focus on eternity. Yes, this is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanyo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. Yes, it's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Unfortunately, given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma. So my plan is... to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already! <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Don't move a muscle! You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest! Don't even think about trying anything! Surrender now. You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize her! Affirmative. Ah, Kujusara! Ah, ah, ah. It seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh! Gujiai, please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. 
All of you outside. As you wish. Gujiyai. I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. Even though she will one day... ...seize your vision, too? The Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course, and I shall not question it. Oh, it's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. And your masters, the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo clan... betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous. The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times, and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, I have seen and heard nothing but pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days, and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Hmm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, she will have to come with me. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. expecting to run into Kujosara here. But, Miko, you mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go, or...? Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do, though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional. <laughs>
Tanuki just turned into a human! <sighs> What's going on? Paimon's never seen one of these before. Mm, not a Tanuki. I'm a Mujina. <sighs> I'm so tired. If I don't get enough sleep, it'll stunt my growth. Um, is this the professional you were talking about? <laughs> she doesn't look very professional at all. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine bona fide ninja. Wow, a ninja? So was that one of those legendary ninja transformation techniques? Uh, anyway, what's the Shumatsuban? It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shumatsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Uh -huh. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen there myself. You make it sound so simple, but... Hmm? Oh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. All right then. I'll indulge you with a little more information. For a complete outsider, probing the inner workings of the Tenryo Commission is nigh on impossible. But since the three commissions work together to serve the Shogun, they have a close relationship. Someone from one of the other commissions might have an easier job of figuring out what they're up to. <laughs> now you're following me. The Shogun's army haven't given up on their search for you yet. But with the help of this Shiu Matsuban ninja, I'm sure you'll be able to rendezvous with your friends. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence in good time. Apologies. Kamore Tea House only accepts guests of sufficient status. Please don't enter without. Toma! Toma! You there? It's us! We're back! What brings you here? Did you meet with the Resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? Not just yet. We saw people patrolling on our way here. So, it's still not over. I guess you came here because you have something to discuss? I'll get someone to call for Miss Kamisato. Bear with me for one second. I see. You have been through a lot since we last met. I understand. You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Now that you mention it, there is one thing that has always concerned me. The Shogun's army has been at war with the Resistance for a long time now, but not once has the Shogun ever inquired about it. I used to think that she simply didn't care, but looking at it now... 
Perhaps the problem all along has been with the Tenryo Commission's reports to the Shogun. Uh, what do you mean? The Tenryo Commission presides over domestic military affairs. If they ever had any intention of concealing information in their reports, we would have no way of knowing. Meanwhile, the Shogun would incorrectly conclude that the Vision Hunt decree poses no threat and would stick to her decision. If we had access to their reports, it would confirm everything. But as I recall, the only person authorized to access that kind of official documentation is Kujo Takayuki. It's heavily guarded too. Even with Sayu's help, swiping a document from under their noses is no easy task. If only there was a way we could distract the guards just for long enough. Hmm... Uh, Yoimiya's fireworks! That's a very Toma-sounding suggestion. But it's a reasonable one. The statue of the Omnipresent God is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. <sighs> it feels like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. Well, it certainly felt like it to me. I've been looking forward to seeing you again every day since I got here. This tea house used to be my favorite hiding place, but now I've honestly lost track of how long it's been since I last set foot outside of here. Oh man, I want to go to the hot spring so badly. Uh, poor Toma. Let's focus on the issue at hand. The sooner the Vision Hunt Decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again! You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. Alright, first let's go to Hanamizaka to find Yoimiya! Should change it. This part is a bit boring. Yoimiya! We need an extra large firework. The super duper big kind! Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person. As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh, may as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. Don't forget, move well away from it after you light the fuse, and uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh, uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a firework, come on! What's the worst that could happen? We'll give it a try! Thanks, Yaimiya! Now we just need to wait for nightfall. Dream of being number one. Take it easy.
how I thought. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Also, if I do get caught, please come rescue me. Is this really a good idea? Let's make our way to the statue! Careful does it! Watch out for guards and don't get caught! to search for a wanted criminal. Well, how did it go? Well done. Let's wait for news from Sayu. <sighs> I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it! I didn't know how to find a document you guys were talking about, so I just swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. Here you go. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. My lady, what are we looking at? This sealed envelope must be an official report that the Tenryo Commission is preparing to present to the Shogun. In addition, we have... correspondence with the Fatui. It seems that Gujiyaya was right. They have been fomenting unrest behind the scenes. This should be ample evidence. Please take them to Gujiyaya. I trust she will have a plan for the next step. I will also gather some people to try and root out the rest of the Fatui and Inazuma. Still, mind yourself when you face the Shogun. 
I still get goosebumps just thinking about her trying that blade. <sighs> Again, we'll just have to trust Gujiai. She is close to the Shogun, so maybe she will have a way. Uh, if Paimon remembers correctly, it should be time for a meeting with Yaimiko soon. Let's pack up our things and get ready to head to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. Rest assured I came here alone and told no one about this trip. I knew you would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... You're quite mistaken. I would never doubt the leaders of my clan. So, where is your proof? Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. Oh, you wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get our hands on this stuff! Hand them to Sara. She can examine them for herself. What is this? I see this document bears the official seal of the head of the Kujo clan. And it doesn't look like a forgery. I don't understand. Not a single word about the Resistance, Sangonomiya, or the situation on the front line. What about the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? Do they deserve no mention? Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? For the sake of the Vision Hunt decree, of course. Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission, they are deliberately deceiving the Shogun? Yes. Now, who else do you think might be benefiting from the Vision Hunt Decree? This is a letter from the Tenryo Commission to the Fatui! The head of the Kujo clan kept this a secret from the Shogun, too! <sighs> well, the things you wanted to see but also wished not to see are here before you. Surely, you aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? 
So everything I've ever held on to, it's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Kujo Sara seems pretty angry, huh? Looks like our Tenryo Rebellion is successfully underway! Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. There's something else we need to discuss. Huh? Last time you entered the Plain of Euthymia, it was in front of the statue of the Omnipresent God, correct? You must find a way to recreate the circumstances of that day. If you can get the Raiden Shogun to open her heart to you once more before the statue of the Omnipresent God, you will have the opportunity you need. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? The omamori from the Grand Narukami Shrine are very potent indeed. I thought I'd put one aside for you. <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Cut it out, Fox Lady! This isn't the time or place to be poking fun at the Traveler! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well then, time for you to face my hopeless fool of a friend. I'm counting on you. <laughs> 